Just remember we all love you. And in case you didn't know, well, just wake up, kiss the good life. Hello. Come on, wake up, kiss the good life. Hello. Hello, Apple Valley. Welcome to the State of the City of Apple Valley. It is our 50th anniversary, and I am so thrilled and excited to have one of Apple Valley's finest, who hosts the Twin Cities Live, our very own Apple Valley, Elizabeth Rees. Elizabeth, hey! Hi, I'm so happy that you're here. Oh, thank you too, for coming to my house here, our little studio, Twin Cities Live, which of course was where Good Company was shot back yes. in the day. And then our studio, uh, this is where we're live every single day. Well, it is wonderful that, to be here with you. First and foremost, Elizabeth is such a positive role model Aww. for our world. And so <laughs> I, um, I want to say thank you thank for that. You. And throughout the state of the city, I have a theme mm -hmm. of how you write your own story. I love that. And, and you know, when we first became a community, the community of Apple Valley, we had a, Oren Thompson was a developer. Yeah. And he said, come to Apple Valley for the good life. How has Apple Valley been the good life for you? What have you done? What it ha has it done for you? Apple Valley was the good life. I mean, I grew up in Apple Valley and I remember just having such an idyllic childhood there. I remember being able to ride my bike anywhere. I remember having such a great sense of community and feeling like anything I wanted to accomplish was possible because I had that wonderful community support. I mean, still to this day, my best friends are oh. friends I grew up with in Apple Valley. Their parents are my parents' closest friends. We had that wonderful sense of community. And without Apple Valley, I wouldn't be here on Twin Cities Live. I got opportunities at Apple Valley High School. Yes, I want to know about uh, the opportunities at Apple Valley High School. You know Tell my big shout outs to the mentorship program. Ooh. Nobody's a bigger proponent of the mentorship program than me. I loved it. I was able to have a mentor when I was in high school. Her name is Amelia Santanello. Yay. She's an anchor at WCCO. Amelia was my mentor when I was 16, and I had that experience because Mrs. Potts, who was my teacher, told me that I could do it. And she took me down to WCCO to get an interview and convince Amelia to take me on as a mentorship student. And it was the first time that I thought, I can do that and a career in television has Ooh. followed. So without those opportunities at Apple Valley High School and without that support, I definitely wouldn't be here today. And it was just a wonderful place to grow up. And I know it still is a wonderful place to grow up. It is a wonderful place to grow up. And you know, you're inspiring other young people. We are so excited that you allowed us to be able to come to your home oh. to be able to film this for the 50th anniversary of the State of the City. Thank you so much. And, you know, I don't have a lot of time because I have to get running. <laughs> I've got to deliver the State of the City. You deliver the State of the City and I'll say happy anniversary, Apple Valley. It's been 50 wonderful years and I'm only looking forward to 50 more. You gotta go. go yeah, I know, I gotta go. I gotta go. But thank you so <laughs> much. You, Mary, thank Mary. you. Love you too. <laughs> See ya. There she goes. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Isn't Elizabeth Reese great? She's one of our Apple Valley grads. Let's give her a round of applause. And oh my gosh, Vicki Mountain, you were incredible. Let's give her a round of applause. <clears throat> Welcome to Apple Valley's 50th anniversary State of the City, sponsored by Ameriprise Financial and Think Mutual Bank. This is a momentous year. Apple Valley is celebrating our 50th anniversary. Our founding members envisioned a better world and told the story of Apple Valley. They said, come to Apple Valley for the good life. It's a great honor to stand here before you as your mayor and say thank you. Thank you for growing Apple Valley into an outstanding city, a city that has a good life for all. We're truly fortunate 
that nationally renowned 112-year-old MacPhail Center for Music, under the leadership of the CEO, Kyle Carpenter, has called Apple Valley their home for almost 15 years. The education building has transformed Cedar Avenue with a beautiful public art, the joy of music sculpture. And today you're witnessing and you witness the high quality music performance education that McPhail is famous for. The fabulous Vicky Mountain Quartet, Apple Valley shines with live musical talent like Vicky Mountain. Thank you for bringing us the music soundtrack for The Good Life. Masters at turning expectations into extraordinary possibilities. Vivo Kitchen has a 50-year strategic mission and vision. The City of Apple Valley and the Chamber of Commerce have a partnership like no other. Thank you, Apple Valley Chamber President Ed Carty and Chairwoman Karen Kirkman. You represent what's best in servant leadership, and you truly are one of a kind. Let's give them a round of applause. Stand up. Our city council is dedicated and a strategic team. We work very well together to make Apple Valley a remarkable community. And collectively, we have given over 101 years of service to this community. I think that deserves a round of applause. The Minnesota Real Estate Journal recognized Apple Valley this year for our exciting growth and I'm going to share with you some of the highlights. The elegant award-winning 134-unit Galante at Parkside with a culturally creative lifestyle and social amenities by Bigos opened with 100% occupancy. A contemporary sense of place with high-end modern finishes and an amazing energetic team. Galante has been recognized as a 2018 Best Management in Minnesota Award. Bigos Nuvello at Parkside means Italian for clouds, but it means so much more. 175 luxury apartments offering the lifestyle you deserve opens early in 2020. Two buildings gracing Fresco Terrace with single and bi-level floor plans with a dedicated workspace that includes a lounge area, conference rooms, restrooms, and dedicated parking spaces to support residents who conduct home-based businesses. Both buildings will have rooftop decks for relaxing, entertaining, and stargazing. The East Building will have a pool, grilling stations, and bocce ball courts. This forward-thinking and sustainable model in live-work dwellings adds to our diverse housing options in Apple Valley. For 2020, the developer has master planned a new restaurant, shops, offices that will enhance Galaxy Avenue. Zavago offers the benefits of urban living in a thriving neighborhood with all the convenience owners want. Today, Cobblestone Lake Development is adding new housing choices for people looking to live in the Greenway. Springs at Cobblestone Lake are townhomes offering easy pedestrian access to Cobblestone Commercial Area, Quarry Point Athletic Complex, and Cobblestone Lake. Not only do we have great neighborhoods growing in Apple Valley in our 50th anniversary, we also are experiencing strong investment in our downtown commercial district, influenced by the residential growth. The four quadrants of Cedar and County Road 42 are Apple Valley's main on Main. Three of those four quadrants have seen multi-million dollar investments, including Wings Financial, Target, Cub, and Regency Center. Regency Center in Apple Valley is one of the Twin Cities' strongest trade areas. And Apple Valley Square began a $7 million investment with contemporary exterior renovations. Experience Fitness, Five Below, Salon by JC, and Hawaii Poke Bowl, and there's more to come. The Northwest Quadrant is home to businesses such as Warner Stallion, Christopher and Banks, JF Jewelers, Callie's Popcorn, Von Hansen, Apple Valley Liquors, and after over 50 years of family ownership, Bob Levine has offered the property for sale. In the Northeast Quad, longtime owners of the Ryan Real Estate Building 
Bill and Karen Ryan are redeveloping the site for multi-tenant buildings, which include Aspen Dental, Jersey Mike's, Gents Cut and Grooming, Tough Mudder Boot Camp, and Pancheros Mexican Restaurant and Grill. Panera Bread Restaurant has thrived in Apple Valley for almost 20 years. That seems impossible. They are bursting at the seams and intend to relocate to Cedar Avenue. Valley Skin and Med Spa opened at 147th Street Jobs Quarter at Garrett, helping patients find best skin treatments through a compassionate, individualized care. And WCCO featured Apple Valley's Mike Buddy and Culver's Restaurant as the best fish sandwich in Minnesota. Apple Valley Medical Center is a cornerstone to our community since 1974. They invested in their facility with updated finishes to the lobby and patient areas, a streamlined check-in desk, enhanced urgent care exam rooms, and renovated lab area. And Apple Valley Ford Lincoln, another long-standing part of the community, is modeling sustainability by investing in a pollinator garden. That's smart. They understand the importance of our water. Menards is so successful, it's also outgrown its space and is planning a 2020 construction of an exciting new store at County Road 42 and Johnny Cake. Menards told us that they have exciting possibilities for their current Fisher Marketplace location, but I'm not quite ready to tell you that yet. Can you believe that Cobblestone Lake retail area is almost full? That seems amazing. Cobble Street Market, a multi-tenant building across from Think Bank, includes a luxurious Clover Life Spa. In a strategic location in the city lies a 400-acre mining area called Orchard Place. Pete Fisher and Liza Robson are advancing a shared business development vision with the city to realize their legacy. A Lund's Byerly grocery store has already committed to the exciting new development expected to be constructed in 2020. A new medical center is planned by Ryan Company Medical Division at Pilot Knob Road and County Road 42. The location is great for a strategic focus on the med tech industry. Locally owned McCormick Computer Resale is growing beyond their capacity. See a theme here, Apple Valley is thriving, doubling the size of their existing building on Energy Way. Thank you and for, thank you for your investment and for being a great partner in the Apple Valley business community. ISD 190 Sticks undertook a series of safety improvements at all of its schools in Apple Valley. The school entrances were updated and enhanced to better control and identify visitors entering the building and many of the parking lots were reconfigured to make it easy for buses and parents. District 196 leads the way with a AAA philosophy and safety and security for all. The innovative improvements to our Apple Valley STEM High School now makes it look like a high-tech company in Apple Valley. The artistic transformation of the education building continued last year as McPhail occupied their new teaching and performance space. They have created a great relationship with St. Mary's University, and I know they're in the house today, and we look forward to some exciting new partnerships that are currently being finalized. We've had a phenomenal success in our first 50 years, but I want to challenge you to imagine what we can do in our next 50 years. Apple Valley has strategically invested in sustainable practices. The city recently completed a $2 million energy efficiency project, upgrading lighting in most of our city buildings to LED lamps and replacing older boiler units with high efficiency units. The city's strategic goal is to create more sustainable materials that will improve the pedestrian experience in our downtown ring route. On the screen is an example of what the new fencing and LED street lights could look like. And promoting the use of transit is a key element in sustainability. Metro Council, TAB, and the Minnesota Valley Transit Authority are adding 375 parking spaces to the existing Apple Valley Transit Station along Cedar Avenue, one of the busiest transit stations in the metro. And I'd like to recognize Clint Tupa who chairs our uh, Metro Transit, uh, Minnesota Valley Transit. Can you stand up? Yeah. 
working with our legislators for bonding to complete the third northbound lane between Egan and Apple Valley to reduce congestion and increase safety is a high priority. Finishing the bridge connection at Cedar and 147th would improve pedestrian safety in the Cedar Corridor and achieve its original intended benefit to our downtown businesses. Dakota County and its cities are managing the government-owned fiber networks and assets through the DBB board. We're exploring ways to lease excess fiber assets to the ISPs to better serve our businesses. The city is currently exploring providing fiber to our business park that have big data needs. Business pillars like Minnesota Manufacturer of the Year celebrating their 100th anniversary, Upanor. The Central Village is coming to completion and Apple Valley Parks and Recreation is master planning Kelly Park to best serve our residents for our future. The Apple Valley Rotary Club has donated a clock tower celebrating the golden anniversary of Apple Valley. A special ceremony, get this on your calendar, on August the 16th, we'll dedicate this monument. I hope you all come and enjoy how this park is creating community in the core we adore, Apple Valley. A lot has changed in Apple Valley over the past years. There was an airfield and hangars where Target now stand, horses on the trails at Eaton's Ranch, Girl Scouts camped at Camp Sacagawea or Sagagawea, Council meetings were held at the old City Hall building on Cedar Avenue, and students, that's where McPhail and St. Mary's are now. Lac Levon, Fisher Marketplace, Cedar Isles, East View High School were aggregate mines. Yes, Apple Valley has grown and developed over 50 years, but what makes Apple Valley great isn't simply the physical structures, it's the people. It's all of you. It attracts new residences and encourages our community. The AAA philosophy produces world-class graduates who make a difference in our world. There are noteworthy people who have attended our Apple Valley schools. Pro hockey player David Fisher, Michael Lundeen, Eric Westrom, pro basketball players Bob Martin, Tyus Jones, pro football players Trevor Laws and Reese Lloyd, Olympians Rebecca Bradford, Shawnee Marks, and Lindsey Vaughn, actors Doug Hutchinson, Eric Jensen, Vincent Karthheiser, Reggie Roll, and Nicholas Sadler, actresses Arden Cho, Devin Kelly, Maria Thayer, TV personalities Belinda Jensen and Elizabeth Reese, noted chef in 2018 Iron Chef, Justin Sutherland. I'm thrilled to introduce Apple Valley's very own Ann Kim, Midwest James Beard Award winner, best chef, and her mentor, former Apple Valley High School assistant principal, Nancy Grimes. This is a big deal. The James Beard Award in restaurant industry is like the Oscars in the film industry. And Kim says her roots are in Apple Valley, and we are so proud of you. Let's give her a round of applause. And we thank your husband, Conrad, for also being with us today as well. Nancy, you're a you make things happen. Thank you so much, Nancy. I was invited to Westview Elementary, Apple Valley's first elementary school, by Principal Tammy Stallo Schultz to see how graduate and NBA Timberwolves point guard, Tyus Jones, has given back to Westview and helped today's children write their own story. Well, as the original elementary school in Apple Valley, Westview Elementary has a long, proud tradition of being an excellent community where we give back, we get back from the community. An example, we're standing in this beautiful computer lab from one of our former students, Tyus Jones, who re-imaged it for us, made sure we had state-of-the-art equipment, and more importantly, gave us a message that we really live by, that he started as a student by showing us an example. We write our own story at Westview. 
It's a really great opportunity for my young le learners who are kindergartners to come into the lab and have access to the computers. We really appreciate it. When I grow up, I want to be a pediatrician. When I grow up, I want to be a hockey player. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. When I grow up, I want to be a family care physician because I'm really interested in working with the body and it's an easy way to help the community and friends. When I grow up, I want to be a unicorn. We write a story that is about a strong community, a kind community, a generous community, a safe community, and we are surrounded by staff and students, parents and community members that continue to help us write this amazing story be so proud to be in Apple Valley and be writing our story for generations to come. At Westview, we write our own stories. Those children are so bright, and I just love that little unicorn. She is just fantastic, and man, is she bright. Apple Valley students, we've invited you to the state of the city today to honor you for your leadership and your pursuit of excellence. We need your new ideas and your commitment because if you give that to us, our future is bright. Apple Valley High School is the 2019 National STEM Excellence Award winner. Students representing Apple Valley High School today include state champion mock trial team and national qualifiers and saxophonist Sophia Kickhoffel a brilliant musician invited to perform in our nation's youth jazz orchestra at Carnegie Hall. Let's listen to their story. Well, Principal Michael Bolsoni and students, please rise and be recognized. <laughs> Eastview High School, recognized by U.S. News and World Report as a top college prep public high school in the state of Minnesota. Let's take a look. Eastview High School recognized by U.S. World Report and students representing Eastview High School including state speech champions, Minnesota State High School League AAA award winners, and the 2019 commencement speaker. Principal Randy Peterson, please stand with your students and be recognized. The School of Environmental Studies earned a LEED Gold certification by the U.S. Green Building Council. It took five years and 45 students' dedication and effort. Let's take a look.
obviously at the School of Environmental Studies, the environment is really important to us and we like to live out the things that we believe are important. But the other thing that we really, really value here is that we give students an opportunity to be leaders and we really immerse them in experiences. And so what's so special about this is not only does it reflect our beliefs and our commitment to the environment, but that students took the lead on getting it done. I work for the U.S. Green Building Council, the organization that developed LEAD, Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. We work to ensure that all people are living, working, and playing in healthier, greener spaces that complement and sustain our natural surroundings. ARC helps measure performance across five categories, energy, water, waste, human experience, and transportation. That data becomes documentation toward LEED certification. I'm thrilled to announce that SES has earned LEED Gold certification under Operations and Maintenance version 4.1. I'd like to bring the student team up to receive their plaque and Ms. Tunseth too. This is really a benchmark for us going forward. Now that we know where we are with regards to sustainability and efficiency in the building, we can really figure out where we're going to go. Um, so future student projects, um, student capstones, things like that can really take off from where we've left um, with the certification, knowing that where we are and really improve the school um, in ways that we weren't sure we could before. And today with us, United Nations Conference student representatives and LEAD certification project student leaders and Michael Balsoni, stand with them because you were part of the school too. So let's recognize them. Unfortunately, Lauren is not feeling well. And I'm happy to welcome Apple Valley's Teens Who Care. They volunteer their time to create a positive ripple effect in our community. The group averages 14 events a year, logging a total of 918 hours. That's amazing. The Minnesota Zoo was born in Apple Valley in 1978 and is America's nature zoo where health and well-being thrive. John Frowley and I discussed the zoo's exciting new vision to bring the Minnesota Zoo in Apple Valley to the global stage. Let's take a look. Hi, we're out here at the Minnesota Zoo. It's a great day. It's buzzing with people and it's America's nature zoo. And I'm so proud to be with our terrific president and director of the zoo, John Frowley. Hi, John. Hi, Mary. Glad you're here. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. You've got great things happening out at the zoo. It's a fun time. And I know you have a big vision a really big vision for the Minnesota Zoo. And uh, can you share a little bit about what's going on? Well, the zoo's been around for 40 years. We're the fifth largest zoo in the country, um, and we're just a fabulous zoo. Um, but some of the new things we're talking about is revitalizing the zoo, but also really becoming a connector to nature. And I think that connection with nature is really important for everybody. It has a lot to do with our health and our wellness. And the zoo is 500 acres, so not only can we be a great zoo, but we can be a place where people can connect and get interested in nature. Well, that is terrific. I know that you've had over the years some really innovative features out at the Minnesota Zoo. And one of them was the monorail. Right. Well, the monorail served its life. Right. But then you came up with a great idea. First, I think you sold the train, which was cool, smart idea. And then you took a look at the infrastructure. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, the monorail was great for when it was working, but it went obsolete about seven, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And so we're left with a 1.3 mile track, mm -hmm. you know. It happens to go through the zoo, through the woods of our, of our site. So we went out to New York and we saw a, a similar project that they converted into a walking tour. So our team got together and we've now designed the Minnesota Tree Top Trail, 1.3 mile walk through the woods in the trees. Uh, it's gonna be the, one of the longest treetop trails in the world, right here in the state of Minnesota, right in Dakota County, and specifically right in Apple Valley. Oh, this is so exciting. The longest treetop trail in the world. Yes. Hey, thanks for sharing that with I'm us. I'm excited. And it's all happening right here at our Apple Valley Minnesota Zoo. And the Minnesota Zoo will also host Halloween jack-o'-lanterns spectacular again this fall. 
I was thrilled by the incredible artistry, and it's local artistry, last year, and I know you will love it too. And soon you're going to see a really fun bus promoting visitors to Apple Valley for our 50th anniversary, traveling through the metro area. Thank you to CEO Frank Widener and Wings, Apple Valley Chamber, and CVB and Apple Valley Arts Foundation for investing in this promotion with us. And thank you Dakota Electric sponsors Greg Miller, Peggy Johnson and board, the Chambers Business Neighbor Award winners. Apple Valley loves to celebrate and this is our golden year for it. So Bogarts Entertainment Center hosted this year Apple Valley Arts Foundation Frozen Apple Concert and it was a huge success. The Twin Cities best chamber home and garden show was at Eastview High School. It was terrific. Special thanks to Debbie Westman and Jake Wicker for chairing the fabulous Chamber Gala, which was just Friday. Congratulations to Jim and Brett Paul of the award-winning Valley Buick GMC, Apple Valley Chambers Business of the Year. Farmer's Market begins June 8th and runs through October the 26th. Fresh and local produce. And music is alive in Apple Valley. Our Music and Kelly Park concert series celebrates Apple Valley's 50th anniversary. We kick off this series this year on June the 14th with Salsa del Sol. Come join us for fantastic live music, fun food and beverages provided by the American Legion. And we want to give them a special uh, congratulations today because the Legion is celebrating their 100th anniversary. Congratulations, post-1776 post Commander Dick Tullifson and District 3 Commander Carla Tapainer. The 4th of July, Freedom Days, has a fabulous parade dancing, volleyball, and rides at Johnny Cake Ridge Park with the best fireworks in the state. Then get your bikes and come out and ride with us. Latour to Apple Valley Community Bike Ride is September the 14th. Put it on your calendar. Brought to you by the Apple Valley Fire Department. You're all part of history making in Apple Valley for our 50th anniversary. I'd like to thank you all for making this a special place, launching new businesses and expanding great existing businesses, producing an exceptional workforce and attracting amazing people of all generations. And in the room with us, students, you've been volunteering and you volunteered a whole lot of hours. This man has been volunteering and making a difference in our lives for I think as long as this city has existed, I'd like to recognize Bill Scholl. Where are you, Bill? Bill Scholl, please rise. I also want to give a big thank you to Ed Carney and Chairwoman Karen Kirkman, Fabiana Pardo, and all the Chamber Board ambassadors and members present today for your leadership and great partnership with the city of Apple Valley. Thank you so very much. We continue to create a vibrant, healthy to the core and fit for life community. Thank you to our terrific city administrator. Where is he? I can't see. There he is, stand up Tom. Thank you very much Tom. Together we make things happen. The state of the city of Apple Valley is great. Apple Valley is the good life. Thank you all. Thank you very much for coming. Yes, the good life takes away all the sadness you feel. You won't really fall in love if you don't take the chance 